this is so romantic. This is a perfect place to go on a date because you can go to stores and go shopping, which happens to be my favorite thing to do anyway. You just like people to spend money on you. This looks like an empty void, but in fact, it's where I'm going to make a meal for Shananam. And I'm going to make a meal for Vivian. Actually, why don't you do the meal? Let me do dessert. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to make a table for her. And we're going to well, I'm going to go over here it. and surprise you with dessert. Oh, fine. I'm going to... Valentine's is romantic. Oh my god, that's so cute! And I'm not gonna eat anything. I'm just gonna sit here and watch her eat because it's kind of my thing, you know? It's like, it's like my thing. That's weird, Vivian. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I am making for Vivian um, ice cream that doesn't look at all like something it shouldn't. Um, a caterpillar? <laughs> I'll remove my candle. I'm having a lot of feelings about this. Do you like my dessert? I do. It's pretty. I want to eat Thanks. it and wear it. I'm in the darker suit. Channing Tatum? Is that who yeah. that is? Yeah. Okay. How you doing? Hey, wait, did we agree on a guy? Yeah, but I didn't want to say Tatum because she didn't like him. I can't handle that. Ooh, he's good in this one. I like it. This is a perfect Valentine's Day. Vivian, given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest? Tom Hanks. <laughs> would you like to be famous in that way? Um, yes. Like, I want to be a famous author and then get a movie deal and then make lots of money. <laughs> if the crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself, your life, the future, anything else, what would you want to know? Am I ever going to finish my book? And then become a famous author with a movie deal and make a lot of money? When did you last say to yourself? To someone else? Um, I don't sing to people, but I sang to myself really badly on the way home from work in my car. I sang to myself in the car today, and I sang to Ken last night. <laughs> Share with your partner an embarrassing moment in your life. Um, so I was trying to impress a boy and we were going for a walk by this little canal thing and it was cold outside and we were all like kind of partying and having fun and I was going to run and jump into this puddle and splash everybody because I was maybe a little drinking. And um, so I ran and I jumped really high and I slammed my feet into the puddle except it wasn't a puddle, it was a sheet of frozen ice. <laughs> and I totally busted my ass in front of the boy I had you know, like a super crush on. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, Vivian. Share with your partner an embarrassing moment in your life. Um, this one time, my coworkers were talking in the next cubicle over. But our cubicles are really like this huge U-shaped thing, it's covered by this big bookcase. And so I kind of like peeked over, <laughs> see what they're talking about. And I came over a little closer, and I'm like, mm, uh-huh. And it didn't mind. I was just like, this is an interesting conversation. And so I sat down on a box, a box of paper reams. So I thought, well, I'm just going to sit down and listen. Okay, but it wasn't filled with paper. It was empty. So I <laughs> fell, and my butt went in, and then to try and, like, get out of the empty box, I immediately, like, Hopped up, but I couldn't catch myself because I'm short, and so I flopped over <laughs> on my face. And the, the male co worker was like, Should I help or should I look away? Because I was wearing a skirt and my skirt flew up. And, <laughs> and he was like, oh, 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 oh. And literally, like five minutes before that, I was like, Oh my god, my underwear is inside out. I better go change it. But first, let me listen to the story. <laughs> Oh, what roles do love and affection play in your life? Um, depends on how long the batteries last. <laughs> Tell your partner what you like about them. Be very honest this time, saying things that you might not say to someone you've just met. I like that you're very strong-willed. 
and it might come across as like you know tough exterior but you're really just focused on something that you are very passionate about and you want to get it done and you don't care not that you don't care but you want to figure out ways to get it done tell your partner something that you like about them already <gasps> let's be romantic Ooh, i'm waiting and i like being friends with you and i also like that you are a sensitive person Aww. what would you most regret not having told someone why haven't you told them yet I would probably say, Sloan, you are a true asshole. And why haven't I told him yet? Because he's a true asshole. I feel like you probably have told him that, though. Um, I like that Vivian always puts other people's feelings before her own, um, even if it's to her own detriment, um, because she cares so much about um, whether other people are hurt or upset. It's really a curse. I don't like that I do that. It's just that I don't personally have feelings, and I know that other people do. Shit, no, don't matter for you. Because now, the way I was living was, I don't care if I have love or not. I'm just going to do my own thing and be my own person. But if I only have one year left, I would try and fall in love to see what it feels like. I'm so in love with you now, Vivian. Hey! I know. What? <laughs> you know, you know, as a side effect, Gabe has fallen in love with both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're listening. <laughs>